coming up in this video, I've got a quick review of this awesome looking spiced rum. This is Spy Tail and it's their ginger uh, spiced rum. So I'm going to give you a quick review, uh, what it tastes like, what it smells like, and then right at the end, my kind of recommended uh, simple cocktail highball serves. Uh, so if you look, want to know all about Spy Tail, Spy Tail Ginger, stay tuned. Hey Spiced Rum fans, my name is Steve the Barman and I'm hoping these videos help you drink, serve and enjoy better quality spiced rums. I love my spiced rums. If you love your spiced rums too, make sure you hit that subscribe button. Make sure you don't miss any of my future videos. Uh, spiced rum reviews uh, roll every Sunday going forward now. Uh, and I want to hear from you as well in the comments below. Uh, tell me what your favourite spiced rums are. Tell me what your favourite mixes are. Uh, drop me a note to tell me what spiced rums you would like me to feature in the future. Um, and I'm also kind of looking out for really good quality UK based um, supermarket spice drums as well because I'm on a little kind of a quest after the whole Audi little thing so drop me a note in the comments below uh, your favourite spice drums and if you want to uh, chat and meet other spiced rum fans come and join us in the spice rum club over on Facebook it's really buzzing now lots of photos are flying people everyone's uploading there uh, what they've bought this weekend what they're drinking uh, and things like that so search us out on Facebook uh, the spiced rum club you can't miss this it's kind of easy but if you're really struggling uh, my short link is below uh, stblive.uk for Forward slash spiced rum club come and join us right then spy tail um in a world where we have got very similar bottles going on uh, for cheapness and things like that how different and how quirky does that look that looks absolutely amazing i don't know if you can see that you should be able to see that quite easily it's all embossed with spy tail I really, really like that. Uh, Spytail are a French brand. Uh, I'll be honest, I can't find too much out about them. I suspect they are kind of owned, and I should have had a look in on the bottle. Um, no, it doesn't really say. I suspect they have a, a bigger parent company, but I don't know, because that kind of what happens. You'll see there's, a, there's another brand uh, in the supermarkets over here in the UK, Red siren i think it's called or something like that um red siren or si siren's called maybe something like that uh, and that is actually owned by a very big uh, agency distributor in the uk as well but you wouldn't have thought so uh, because you can't find anything out about it and i suspect that may be the same for this but anyway i don't know um it's a french brand that's all i know actually based in cognac uh, in the cognac area of France and that's where it kind of gets a little bit interesting because uh, as they say they've got two rums in their portfolio they've got the normal spiced and the ginger I obviously went for the ginger I do love my ginger so I went for that one first now these rums are imported and they use uh, kind of two of them as their base rums. So we've got Trinidadian uh, rum and we've got Guyana rum. Now here's the cool thing because those rums are then shipped back to France, shipped back to Cognac um, and then they are blended together to get their perfect kind of uh, base rum that they use and then they're aged and this is what I love, this is what intrigues me. They are aged for three to six months in uh, cognac barrels now if you've i haven't dropped it out there too much but actually uh, for neat sipping spirits cognac is actually my out and out favorite uh, spirit i absolutely love cognac it was probably the second spirit that i ever got into but the first spirit that i ever got into neat i absolutely love cognac so i'm so excited to get involved in this now as for the actual rum the brand itself uh, the rum is a 40 percent abv so none of this uh, liqueur strength uh, 35s and less going on proper out and out 40 percent and the brand actual spy tail is quite a new brand as well got launched in uh, november 2018 so we are literally 14 months into their whole journey at the moment so you may not have seen this again this is a master of malt and i think it's about 25 pounds uh, to you guys unless you've got a trade account 
uh, on Master of Malt. Uh, there will be a link in the show in the description in the show notes of where you can get that from. So just before we get onto the tasting and the smelling, there's just a very very tiny uh, marketing story on the back here that I'm just going to read you. Uh, so Voyage is extraordinaire. Uh, we infuse oak aged imported Caribbean rum with fresh ginger and blend rums in our cellars in Cognac, France, to create a delicious spicy rum we hope you enjoy. Two things to pick out in that. Uh, firstly, uh, they import Car oak aged Caribbean rum, so it's already aged before it's then aged again in cognac barrels. And secondly, it doesn't say spiced rum, it says spicy rum. So, and I love my ginger, so I'm wondering how spicy this is gonna be. Right then, so what does it smell like? Let's crack it, it's a uh, screw top. Oh, I'll tell you what, bartender's going to hate this. You're not going to get a pour at hold that. I'm just going to go off camera. Oh, no, we're not. We're here. Oh, fail. Absolute fail. Bar bartenders are going to hate this. Wow. Wow, why would you do that? Why? Why would you do that? Okay, sidetracking. What does it smell like? Okay, that's really interesting. It might be my nostrils, but I don't really get ginger on that. There's, there's like a subtle hint of something on there. And the big, the big sort of notes I do get, being a big cognac fan, I actually get big cognac notes on that. It's, there's some subtle spices in the background there, but that's, it's really not overpowering. So the, the this what it smells like is actually just smells sort of smells. You could pick rum, but you actually pick cognac as well. And maybe maybe vanilla, but they claim not to have vanilla in this. So whether that's the okay, where's that's the bourbon sort of barrels coming through? I don't know. It might be me. It might be my nostrils. But compared to a, a lot of spiced rums that I kind of smell. That kind of hit you straight away. It's gradually, gradually coming through. But I would, you know, if I. Some people, super tasters, if that's what they're called, might be able to pick ginger on that. But I would put, if you were to smell this without knowing what it was, I think you'd struggle to pick out that that was ginger. So this is going to be really interesting. Right then, so what does it taste like? Now, sweetness scale, um, three. I'm going three out of five. It is, I would say it's actually quite well balanced. I don't think it's, I think it's sweeter, I should say, than the last um, spice drum that I did was Dubai, which really kind of, I wasn't really getting off the nose. It's kind of gone the opposite, actually. Um, it smells rum cognac -y on the nose but actually on the taste it has got that level of sweetness to it it's got the fire i'm not delaying because i dislike it i actually do quite like it but i've tasted a lot more gingery spiced rums than a gin this ginger spiced rums um this is kind of really weird Considering that's been infused um, with fresh ginger, I was expecting it to be really fiery, really out there in your face ginger, and it's not. It is subtle, which this makes this quite a decent go-to for a lot of people. It's not overpowering at all. It's just lovely, well-balanced. The little bit of sweetness on there, the finish is, um, I'd say, quite a little bit thin finish. It doesn't kind of linger. But it's lovely and warming, um, and that probably is the ginger, to be fair, coming through. But I was just expecting this big bowl. Right, um, sorry, eyes lit up here. I was just thinking, uh, Brewdog 500 cuts. That just flipping blew you away. Uh, that was like, it was a whole ginger root in every single bottle. And that's sort of, I'll be honest, that's sort of what I was expecting from that. Um, 
I need to I need to do a little taste test comparison with red leg actually the standard red leg because red leg is lime and vanilla um, and actually sort of what 18 pounds a bottle I, I potentially one thing I will say this isn't as sweet as red leg red leg's got a little bit more sweetness to it but the sort of the gingery notes and the other spices that come through in red leg are probably a bit more than that I I'm not convinced. I'm well. Actually, being a whole cognac thing, I without knowing too much about the brand, I would go. The, I would say that they're going for the neat sipping rum category because a cognac uh, and B because that is actually really nice to sip neat. And I tell you how nice that tastes. Actually, I've just finished the whole thing very very easily without without even worrying about it. That, that's actually right. I've kind of probably done this a disservice because that is actually a very, very nice rum to drink neat. Um, but is it my favourite rum? I don't know. That's just so easy drinking neat. I just wasn't expecting it. I was expecting ginger to go slap. Um, and it hasn't done. It's just very, very nice. So this is going to be an interesting one to play about with. Um, I've got a rough idea of what mixes are going to work with, but... Stay tuned and we'll find out. Right, I'm back. I've had a good little play about with that. What does it mix well with? Well, um, I'm not even going to go the fruity route because I kind of think that's just sort of wasted uh, with that. For me, uh, yes, they were nice drinks, but they just didn't come alive in the way some other spiced rum um, brands do. Um, the one note to that I actually thought was the uh, the tropical soda. I thought that's not too bad. And uh, the whole pineapple ginger thing kind of does work. Um, so that's kind of, if you're going fruity with that, that was my sort of top pick. I thought that was a very kind of interesting combination. But where this did excel, this for me was an out and out rum and coke a bad boy. Okay. Um, it's just lovely. If you, I tell you what they reminded me of. Um, sort of, uh, it's Pepsi, Pepsi Max's ginger. It's very, it's not over in your face uh, ginger. It's just kind of a subtle sort of ginger uh, with Pepsi Max. And that kind of did this similar sort of thing. So it's not over in your face. It's, you can have, you can tell it's a lovely spiced rum, but it's a very smooth uh, spiced rum and Coke. So. That for me, um, again, I did the spicy one in there. It's kind of my go-to out of the signature ranges. I'm not a big um, sort of woody fan or smoke. I don't really like the smoke. I, I really dislike the herbal. Um, so this, the spicy one is kind of my go-to, but that, again, absolutely uh, lovely. You cannot fault that at all. And then we get on to the, uh, the kind of the gingers. Um, again, kind of a little bit pointless because you're going ginger on ginger but ginger ale I just thought that because that's not it's a sweet taste without being thick without being uh, syrupy sweet if you know what I mean and that just made a really refreshing long drink really really like that together that more than ginger beer okay uh, I thought ginger beer just overpowered it there wasn't enough coming through um, so that has been spy tail I really I'm not disappointed at all I really do enjoy that it's just not what I was expecting and for 20 I just had to quickly remember that for 25 pounds a bottle you're gonna like it but is it any better than if you want ginger is it any better than something like red leg don't know but as a neat sipper, I tell you what, I could quite happily have that most nights.